Yo, 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 Alpern here, and we have a, another cast this time around on uh, Bukash. And we got none other than the map maker himself here showing off his own map, playing as the Soviets in the south. And facing off versus the map maker, we have the I was about to say community manager, but not quite, more like the the uh, the the council himself fighting as the Germans here, Stern Panther or Band Panther as some may call him. You know, he's a guy swinging swinging the the hammer in the co community. Already very nice here, I must say. You know, keeping his uh, pioneer with the machine gun, giving him the spotting, which of course lets him suppress this uh, unawaring conscript squad by Capen. So uh, very nice start here from Stern Panther, also closing in with the Pioneer, getting some pretty decent damage in here, you know, uh, the conscripts are suppressed so they can't really return fire, and the Pioneer will actually keep these guys pinned, they can't get unsuppressed unless they reload like we just saw there, so... Yeah, the conscripts are forced away, MG pushing up here to get it with the Pioneer support, of course Capen is aware, there is a machine gun in close proximity. Hides behind this piece of green cover, which uh, actually I advised adding on this map in this location, uh, similar to how there is one on the north side. So well done, Elper. You have uh, contributed to uh, Cape and winning that engagement. As this grenadier here is doing quite a lot of damage on these combat engineers, but they've still not captured their own fuel here. Um, but Stern Panther is managing to grab the center, which is uh, quite important on this map, as it is on every map. We have a sneaky little combat engineer here going in for that cutoff. Yeah, the combat engineers were interrupted there, didn't finish the, the cutoff completely. But of course the VP is in Stern Panther's hands, so with the machine gun here, it's going to be quite hard for Cape. And we do hear Aura here coming in, trying to find a flank. MG setting up, but one squad is already behind him. Let's see if the Grenadiers can keep this conscript at bay. We also have a third conscript marching in. MG taking a lot of damage here, forced to retreat. Managed to get one pin though, as the Grenadiers are just piling on here. Conscript getting very low. Might even go down here. Whew! That was close. Pioneers there, forced away by the third Conscript. Yeah, lots of manpower damage there. Stern Panther only losing two models in that engagement. If you take a look at the uh, KD here, you'll see a very uneven opening. Uh, which means Capon's engagements aren't as good as they might seem, and he's about to lose map here as well. Meanwhile, tier 2 is coming up for Capon, probably looking for that fast tier 3, I would assume, unless he goes for a Sis gun, but that would be odd, because we do have a commander pick here, guard motor, meaning the guard rifles is a option as soon as he has hits two command points. Meanwhile, Stern Panther here already coming up to tier 2 as well, probably looking for that 2-2-2. Uh, two two. The other is the flamethrower pop for Capen, which is going to let him uh, finally pick some good engagements, hopefully. Might be fearing a machine gun in this area somewhere. Though uh, he of course has this engineer, so he should be able to get a flank off if necessary. But yeah, nice flame burst there, half grenadier. Taking a lot of damage. So these grenadiers are also very low. Meanwhile, we have a pants grenadier from Stern Panther. I did not see that one coming. Especially since you actually built here too. I'm pretty sure all you need is battle phase 1 uh, to unlock these bad boys, but maybe I'm wrong. I know they've had a uh, fair share of changes over the 
course of the years. Our superiors have given us 120 millimeter mortars. Yep, flame filler marching in. Pioneer here behind green covers that are going to be taking that bonus damage. So we have MG opening up, not getting the suppression on the first burst there though. And Pioneer, actually very low, one more burst here, could be lethal. Rifle nade. But Conscript is buying green cover, Pioneer manages to get out of there. Now Flamethrower is in trouble. Not quite for the machine gun to uh, give some covering fire. LMG is popping now on the Grenadiers. And there is the 2 to 2 in the build. Meanwhile, Capen hasn't picked up any further units, no tier 3 either. Uh, but I would uh, assume he's going to call these rifles in here, these guards. As soon as he has the manpower. And there you go. The uh, openness is marching into the field. Fields of Bokash. As the machine gun is set up on the cutoff here, How, co covering a very large chunk of Capen's territory. As the 2 to 2 is uh, his first couple of shots of bleed. We do actually have anti tank grenades already for Capen. So needs to be playing cautiously. If he gets snared here, the guards could uh, easily just walk up and uh, and uh, mop it up. Yeah, no DPs yet for the the guards. We'll probably get them as soon as he uh, he gets back to friendly territory. Capen is going in for an Ura flank here, but the Grenadiers are interrupting. Also have the 2-2 there with some uh, soft damage. Guards standing in the open here, fighting Grenz behind the... Uh, not actually quite green, there is a card here. That provides yellow cover. But you could simply remove the card by like grabbing the 2-2 and uh, squashing it. That way you get green cover from both directions. Which is an option here for Stamp Panther. Another rifle leg, guards in trouble, ooh, eats it, but does get away there with pretty much one HP remaining. Meanwhile, Panzergrenadier is here, actually very low. If the conscripts follow here, you do have some uh, piece of red cover here, but nope. Capen opts to get that, uh, get working on that fuel capture instead. Yeah, really close to losing the guards there. Meanwhile, tier 3 is coming up, T70 should be queued up within... Uh, the next minute or so, we can stop the uh, the uh, reinforce for a minute. So this two to two is just really paying off here for Stern Panther. Just uh, you know, some small bleed here. Also closing in there, kind of baiting a uh, anti-tank grenade, but manages to stop the fuel from being recaptured. So very nice work here from Stern Panther in the early game, you know, getting the uh, resource harassment and delaying the T-70 and just doing some very nice uh, manpower engagements as well. Yeah, machine gun was just flanked here by the combat engineer, he's going to be forced to retreat, very nice. Seems these guards are just marching over Stern Panther's entire army. Sandbag up in the center, very important here for the Soviets. Oof. Yeah, DPs are now online on the guards, so they will perform even better. Meanwhile, a second machine gun is in queue here for Stern Panther. Might be a bad read, we do have a T-70 coming out. I have, however, not seen a single telemine either. Oh, another rifle nade there on the guards. Doing a decent chunk of damage, but guards are still remaining on the battlefield. As the kills are just piling on here, six currently. 
We have Ura here going in for that, trying to reach the uh, anti-tank grenade range. Oh! Grenadier goes down there, even drops the uh, the LMGs. Meanwhile, 2-2 two -two -two does get snare. Let's see if the T conscript can finish this off. Might be possible, also gets the main gun crit. Meanwhile, the conscript here picks up the LMG, and here comes the T-70, which could be here just in time to actually kill this 2-2-2. Two -two -two. If he even needs it. Eight seconds remaining on the anti-tank snare, but nope. The Mosin Nagans are penetrating the 2-2-2 armor, so down it goes. That's two major losses for Sturm Panther. And another power spike here, you know, for Cape Pen. Getting the T-70 out as well after those two losses. And, you know, Sturm Panther here going for another machine gun instead of any AT is going to really cripple his chances here. Yeah, I do think Capen needs to play a bit cautiously here in case of Tellers, but he does have his Sweeper. So you're gonna want to bundle these two together. It seems that's what Capen is doing. Very nice, I like this. I mean, he just needs to keep up the pressure right now, just keep pushing. Yeah, very nice work. Could actually kill this machine gun here if he stays on retreat, steals it with the combat engineers, possibly. No fear of Teller. Pack isn't even out yet for Storm Panther. Just well done here for Cape and Oh. I don't see why he stopped there. He shouldn't have seen anything else. He could definitely have greeted for that a bit further. So a bit of a missed opportunity there for Cape, and, but. He might be microing elsewhere. We do have a lot of reinforcements coming up. We'll see mines going down here. Very nice. We like that. Still no sweeper for Storm Panther here. But here we go. We also have a SIS gun. We are closing in to the Panzer 4 timing. So that is very nice there for Capen. He knows he's been behind on fuel. And you always want to make it safe, right? And uh, you know, the SIS gun, even though it's an 80 gun, has the barrage ability. Getting it a minute or two or five minutes earlier is no problem versus Austere because you will be facing facing these machine guns. Which the barrage is just really good at fighting. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Supply lines have been cut. Back lining up here. Connects with the T70. This Pioneer is way out of uh, position though. Very long way home. Only has the pack gun defending the retreat path. And if the conscript push up, it won't be even be necessary. Pioneer goes down. Third loss there for Stern Panther. And just excellent play from Capen here. Punishing Stern Panther over and over. Yeah, Battle Phase 2 is now cooking up for Storm Panther, but he'll still need quite a bit of manpower before he can get that Panzer 4 out. And, you know, he can't really build this structure because he has no Pioneer anymore. There is no unit that can actually upgrade Storm Panther's uh, teching here. So, yeah, I don't know what what he's going to be doing. The, the T-44 at this rate will uh, appear at the same time as the Panzer 4. And we have a second guard squad for Capen. I'm not sure if I agree with this, but, you know, if it's strong, then why don't you get two of them? Yeah. Yeah, MG here just marching straight up into the conscripts. Actually managed to force them away. Could have seen a Molotov there. Not sure why Capen didn't go for it. Oh, and this MG here just getting pummeled. Storm Panther keeps just moving the machine guns into firing range of Capen's troops. forces, pack setting up. There is a lot of uh, Soviets here. We also have the guards, pack. 
attempting to get a shot in there, but misses. Conscript getting very low. Needs to be retreating this Capen. There we go, and we also have a 120 mil, okay. Well, this one is definitely going to be delaying him if he tech it up here instead. I think that would have been way better. But let's not doubt our overlord Capen. He is doing really well here. He has a ve very favorable uh, position currently, I'd say. Getting all those losses here on Stern Panther is really just crippled him. He did finally get his Pioneer and he has tech now, but he can't afford a Panzer IV and he needs to reinforce. And he's just floating the fuel now, so. A bit of a nightmare log logistically for Stern Panther. Meanwhile, Capen here just sitting back. Doesn't want to overextend. He is aware there's a Panzer IV cooking. Uh, and he is taking up himself, I believe, as soon as he can afford it. But like I mentioned, the manpower is going to be a bit of an issue here. While this mortar is useless for a couple minutes. So I think that was a miscalculation here from Capen. But those things are easy to happen. We do have finally a sweeper out as well for Storm Panther, so he's going to be spotting these mines that Capen has been laying for the past couple of minutes. But I must say, I, I think uh, Capen should have been a bit more aggressive here. I mean, you know there is a Panzer IV coming, but uh, you can still push while not overextending, I think. Especially with like individual units. Yeah, once again here, Stern Panther, you can't be doing this. This is how you lose every engagement with your machine guns. Marching them into green cover is uh, never a good thing to do. So we have some attack rounds here. Stern Panther tries to re return fire. But the bushes, man, the bushes. They are in Capen's favor as uh, Capen is their creator. So a uh, rifle nade there, but green cover soaks pretty much all the damage. And now here we go, T70 doing some friendly fire. Here comes the Panzer IV. Sis gun, not quite in position. T70 eats one shot. And the pack and the Panzer IV combo there taking out the T70. Bit of a slow reaction there from Capen, but... Also well played from Stir Panther, I would say. These pioneers have quite a way home here. If he stays here, this could be really bad. Meanwhile, in the south, conscripts are pushed away, so... Map goes back to Stir Panther there. These guards don't quite get... Pioneer models they're looking for. Oh, oh. okay. Thought the 120 mil would have hit here, but then we have a grenade, and these Panzer Grenadiers are going down because there is so many Russians on the retreat path. Another loss for Storm Panther. Really struggling with that that uh, unit. What do you call it? Unit uh, preservation? Preservation, I think? Fuck, two, two, two difficult words. And Panzer IV just suiciding, eats a shot from the SIS gun and then gets snared. Follow up there. But still no tank. If Capen had a tank here, this Panzer IV would be dead, but the manpower, man. The 120 mil really has slowed him down here quite a bit, I must admit. I think it was a really poor decision. Or the second guard, I think you'd have to pick here, but it definitely does slow him down here. Oh, that reload on the MG is going to allow the guards to get a grenade off. And another 120 hit, and there's the grenade. Is it enough? Yes, it is. A machine gun goes down there, but Storm Panther is now cooking up his second Panzer IV. Meanwhile, T-3485 is coming in. 
That was not the 120 mil, man. That was just the reload. That was straight up the reload. I think the 120 mil got one kill there and no damage done. Yeah. Mostly as the guards, if anything. But yeah, these MGs. Fighting units in green cover every time, it feels like. Can't really be doing that, but I, I mean, I don't blame him. He has no infantry to be gapping with to begin with. He has two grenadiers to play with. He's lost way too many units at this point. And there we go. Guards once again. Prove superior. This Panzer Force needs to get some work done. It's going to be hard versus the guards, I feel. Also have the 85 now, potentially a uh, marked vehicle. Meanwhile, we do have actually Stuka close air support, of course, for Storm Panther here, picking the Blitzkrieg Doctrine, but there we go, Im immediately buttoned by the guard troops. Panzer 4, no way that's surviving, right? Here comes the Stuka close air support. This gun connects once more. The Panzer 4 is, I'm not sure where it's going. T3485 misses. Second guard group squad joins the fray. Panzer 4 is uh, finally snared there in front of the SIS gun. And this Panzer 4 is now sitting back. 85 going in for the kill. Misses. Second Panzer 4 goes down. And here comes the first one. Bounces. Could potentially win this blowout here. No, oh, because the 85 requires 5 hits to kill. And the 85 proves superior. It's Derm Panther. Throws in the towel, GG well played to Capen. Just uh, really here, you know, showing the 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 strength of the, the Soviet Union in a fatigue matchup like this one, where one player just loses all of his units, while the other keeps them alive. Alright, taking a look at the stats here, we can see the Soviets with a positive KD, which you never want to see, but uh, here you go. Uh, of course really as showing I think how well the guards have been doing. I wish you could see individual stats, but like you see here 17 kills on these guys. Meanwhile this conscript has 7. And this is, you know, this one has been here from minute 0. While this guard has been fighting here for maybe since minute 5 or 6. So this one has been 6 minutes less on the field and it's just more than twice the kills. So yeah, make of that what you will. But I think the, the guards just do so well. This one actually also has 17 kills, but I guess that might also be because of the LMG pickup, which I think was really huge. So yeah, GG well played.